All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Spank That Bass TV. Today, I'm going to be working this uh, working this little place that I always used to fish. This used to be like my main uh, my main spot just to come down, throw my line and whatnot. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be starting off with some soft plastics, and if those don't prevail, I will be moving on to some hard... Um, wow. Actually, you know what, guys? Wow, what the hell is that thing? Guys, there's like this 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 huge fish that I can never catch inside this thing, and it's sitting right there. But anyway, I'll let that thing rock. Anyway, I'm going to start off with some hard... Uh, I don't know why I'm whispering. I'm going to start off with some soft plastics, and if that, that does not prevail, I'm going to uh, try to use some, uh, some jerk baits right around this weed line over here. And uh, once the sun kind of dies down and... and um, excuse me. Um, once it, the sun kind of dies down, uh, maybe some top water, something like that, or maybe I'll work a jig or something like that. But right now, I have a June Bug uh, Gary Yamamoto Senko tied on. So let's see what this day brings. Let's do this. Let's get it done. This well, um, my girlfriend gave me like this bread. She was like, "Hey, babe, I don't know if you want to feed the fish." So I thought of it. I was like, maybe it'll roll up the bait fish and kind of uh, entice a bite. So. I just spread it right here all along this weed line and there we go I see fish going after it already so I'm just gonna crumble it up in my hand and just kind of throw out a little flexing all that crap there we go all right mission accomplished that is some bready water anyway let's get to it well I'm gonna I'm gonna try just flipping this uh this Sanko right here and letting it sink. I'm watching my line for any sort of ticks. Alright, so I might have a I might have a fish on guys. Let's see what goes on. Oh damn. Had something hitting it. Might have been a cichlid or something. Oh faithful Sanko. Whoa, guys, whoa, whoa, damn, oh, it was a tilapia, oh, my God, damn it, really, I don't want to catch one of these damn things, damn, this guy cranked it, oh, man, am I recording, yes, I'm recording, this guy cranked it, oh, my God, little bastard, Oh man, I'm thinking I have the dopest bass on like right now. Dude, you know, I hate when they do that. When they fall into the bush, you now I have to fish them out of the bush. I already fished them out of the water. Yeah, I have an idea. I've seen it on YouTube. Some people grab them by the tail fin with the gripper and toss them right in. Well, that didn't work. There we go. You later, guy. Well, if that wasn't exciting, I don't know what was. I'd have my blood pumping for a second. Is this the fishing gods telling me that maybe I should wacky rig it? I don't know. Drop a comment down below if the fishing gods ever uh, spoke to you. Well, I figured, you know what? Either go big or go home. I don't know if this is too big for where I'm fishing, but... Uh, yeah, that's basically where I'm at right now. So I'm gonna try to rig this thing up. I'm gonna Texas rig it, whatever, with a little slightly, a little cheap, little weighted hook, and uh, I'm gonna toss it out there and kind of work the bottom, let it twitch around. It has kind of like that, uh, if I'm not mistaken, like a cut tail, or like a something. It's a 12 inch jelly worm made by Mans, and they smell like fruit for some odd reason. But anyway, stay tuned, guys. So I've never really been a fan of big worms. It's like, it's like, damn, bro. Like, like you mean business right now. Like, I don't know if you guys could see that, like, the way I want you to. But, uh, yeah, that's a pretty damn big worm. So, I'll try to, I'm like, oh, man, this thing is, oh, my God. It feels like I'm throwing, like, a, like a, oh, no, like, like a saltwater crankbait. This thing is so damn heavy. I'm going to let that thing just fall. I'm gonna retrieve it back. Get my bail open. Well, I think I have something on. I feel some weight at the bottom and I feel a little bit of tug. So usually that's a fish. So I'm gonna ease up on this hook set. Oh, you son of a gun. It might have been just a baby that had it. Let's 
Yep. As well, uh, the 12 inch worm. I had something on, um, but it, I mean, like, it must have been small because it didn't even have this thing in its mouth. I mean, look how big it is. I mean, I mean, I don't know what I'm thinking using this thing, but you know what? It's worth a try. I mean, because I see this one big bat. One, I don't know what the hell it is. It looks like a deformed catfish bass snakehead hybrid. Like, like this thing is like super elusive. Like, I toss a bait in front of its face and it's gone. But anyway, I'm gonna switch to Old Faithful and um, you know, just uh, green or the green pumpkin with no, no, this is watermelon, black flake, chartreuse tip. Uh, Texas rig it. A little weighted hook. I usually like to uh, to fish my Senkos weightless, but I don't feel like retying at the moment. So, get that up and around. And I know, guys, I know, guys, this isn't the right kind of hook for this, this, that, and the other. I know. But, you know, it is what it is. Let's expose that. There we go. Virtually weedless. That is one big old plane. Oh my god. It's like a war plane. Alright guys, well I'm gonna boogie on down to uh to a different spot. Uh sun's about to go down, so yeah, I need to stock up on so many things. Oh my god. Anyway, um I'm gonna boogie on down to a different spot. Pack of plastics, snippers, and lippers. Something's gotta prevail today. I'll take even a dink. Take it. Let's go. All right, guys. Well, we're here. I was gonna like do the whole B-roll deal, but kind of got to slow down to you know catch all that nice B-roll and whatnot. But um, yeah. So I'm just gonna fish from where I'm at right here in the same place. So it's relatively dirty, all the way down there. I don't know if you can see that, um, but yeah, I'm gonna work this whole bank. I just saw a fish actually just jump up out of the water, so maybe top water's on down here, maybe not. Let's see. All right, guys, well, I just jacked one up out of the water. Um, a little dinky do, like I said, I'll take it. You know what? It's better than nothing. Just to give you a comparison from like my, it's probably about, well, let's see, eight, nine inches, something like that. Yeah. Cool. See you later, guy. Alright guys, well uh, it's a little bit bigger, it's pretty cool, there you go, I don't know if you guys can see that, yeah, oh I got him right in the eye too, oh man, I don't, oh I popped his freaking eye, damn it. Yeah. Yep. Well, I didn't know I was recording that whole time, so I guess I got the fight on on uh, on the video too. So that's a plus. Pretty cool. Let's put him back. Bye, bye, buddy, buddy boy. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, check out my recommended videos. That actually helps people rank in the uh, the YouTube algorithm, and uh, you know this the whole watch time session and and things like that. So help a brother out. Uh, get your lucky tackle box, and don't forget, cowbell. Life always needs more cowbell. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, this Saturday. 
two versus two. It's going to be me, my buddy Mike, versus Tall Fisherman Jay and uh, Jay's friend Nick. So stay tuned for that. That might either be released on Sunday, Monday, most likely on Thursday. So stay tuned for that and check, check me out on Instagram and you guys will be seeing when that video will be uploaded. So stay, babe, how do you say stay uh, attention in Spanish? Atención. Atención. So stay, uh, stay tuned for, uh, for all that stuff, and uh, that's about it. Adios. Peace.